Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is lecture 9 part 3 on physical design course where we shall be looking at some very important and interesting topics for those who are in academics and professional engineering world. All right, let's get started. In previous lecture, we briefly discussed about netlist which is needed as a part of input to physical design team. What netlist contains and how to understand it that we have already discussed in the previous lecture, link of which is given in the description below. Today we will see what timing library is, what it contains and how to understand it. A standard cell library is a collection of well-defined and appropriately characterized logic gates that can be used to implement a logical design. Similar to LIGO, a standard cell must be predefined specifications to be flawlessly manipulated by synthesis place and drought algos. Therefore, a standard cell library is delivered with a collection of files that provide all the information needed by various EDA tools. This library collection has a two major categories. One is physical view and one is timing view. In this lecture, we shall be discussing timing view of the library and in upcoming lecture, we will be discussing physical view of the library. A timing library contains the propagation delay and output load capacitance and input transition of all the cells which are present in the design. Now the question is how do we know the delay of the gate through the logic path? So let us say that we have one logic gate here for example and if we take this pin let us say that this is A pin and this is B pin. So how the tool calculates the delay is based on the input transition. So first factor that is taken into account is input transition and second factor that is taken into account is output load or you can say that output capacitance based on input transition and output capacitance it will calculate how much time does the input take to travel to output. Please note that timing data of standard cell is provided in the liberty format. What you see here is sample liberty format. So you can see that library name is given in the first line and here is the complete liberty format. First we define the cell. So cell definition comes, the syntax is like cell you have to specify, then the cell name and then simple attributes will come. Then each individual pin of cell is defined inside this cell and we have to specify like this again, pin, then pin name and then the attributes of pin and then comes the timing data. So this is the most important part of the library where you specify the delay values for that particular pin. To model the delay in the cell, there are two very famous timing models, NLDM and CCS which are used. And before deep submicron technologies came to the market, NLDM was mostly used. In fact, now also it is used a lot in many designs. NLDM stands for non-linear delay model. Its best advantage is that it is very fast in delay calculations and main disadvantage of this model is that it loses the accuracy below 130 nanometer that is deep submicron technologies. In the case of NLDM, so what happens is let us assume that there is a rising waveform in the input side and it has taken some TR amount of time to rise from 0 to 1 and output side also it is going like this. So there is some transition that happens. So in NLDM model what happens is that there are finite number of transition values which are taken in the input side and the output side. So it is generally maybe like 3 or 5 values in the input side and same number of values in the output side for every transition and load values and corresponding to that transition input and output load there will be some delay value that is mentioned in the library. Then delay numbers can also be interpolated if the value is not mentioned in the lib. Here is a template to understand the library contents with NLDM model implemented. So this is a lookup table in which you can see that first variable is input net transition and second variable is output net capacitance and there are two indices mentioned. So there are values mentioned in the indexes and now let us say that we have a cell. Let's say that there is one cell INVXN. So it is an inverter which name is INVX1 and its pin is Y. Let us assume that this pin is input pin. So for that 
there is some timing data is mentioned here so there will be some direction mentioned here and other attributes will be mentioned and then this part of timing will come so then when timing comes it is cell rise delay template it could be cell fall delay template also so there will be next template here further down which will be cell underscore fall and then delay underscore template so there will be both template for every pin for every cell and values are like this so actually it would be something like this in the table it is like these values which are mentioned here index 1 and index 2 these are mentioned here so it's the tran and it's the cap which is mentioned and for every value you can say that there is a delay value mentioned with you can assume that if the tran is this and let's say cap is this so our delay value will come out to be this so 0 0.70164 will be the delay value if the cap is 1003 femtofarad whatever the unit is generally it is femtofarad and input side transition is let's say 102 so it is 102 ps let's say so you will get the cell delay value of 701 ps or 0 0.701 nanoseconds that is the value which is present but let's say if you do not have that value which is uh, let's say the load is not mentioned in this and let's say tran is mentioned or may not be mentioned the tool can interpolate that value which is not part of your lookup table the tool has that capacity to do that cc now let us move on to ccs model or composite current source model which has an advantage that it can provide more accuracy at lower submicron technologies which NLDM cannot do. At lower tech nodes, the Miller capacitance becomes considerable and hence cannot be ignored. Here is a sample of how a pin in library with CCS model is implemented looks like. So here if you see that there are now three variables. The other part of this part, this part remains common. So it is common or you can say generic part which is not dependent on model. This is common, you can say common syntax which is everywhere in the library. But this part little bit differs from the NLDM model. Here reference underscore time. So there is this line reference underscore time. This attribute refers to the time when the input waveform crosses the delay threshold. So this value refers to the threshold you can say and index 1 and index 2 refers to the input transition and output load and index underscore 3 is also there and that is your delay value. So we have an additional index here you can say it is an additional parameter which is used here and it refers to the time values and the table values refer to the corresponding output current. So now here you have some table values which represents the current. So in NLDM case, let us say NLDM first. So in NLDM, your propagation delay TP was function of input transition. If we mention it as TR, input transition and output load, it was like this. But here propagation delay is not only dependent on your is not only dependent on transition and load but it is also having an additional parameter of time at which you are sampling the data so in nldm you had only three or some finite number of parameters generally it is three or five so at that time only sampling of transition time and load was done so there were only two or three or five finite number of sample points but here you have a granularity of time changing so here you will have a current which is calculated like this i is equals to c dv by dt and here you have current which is function of time like this so you can say that if you had in nldm you had input transition and output load and you were calculating the delay based on that so these were your tp values propagation delay values now you have one more additional parameter in the graph and that is 
time. So based on time varying propagation delay you will get and that is you can say an additional index in your library that is present as time value and the difference that is uh, told uh, that is asked in the interview is that wh what is the major difference why do we need a CCS model so CCS models are used because it is more accurate at lower input impedances and output impedances at that time when Miller capacitance becomes significant then CCS models are more accurate compared to NLDM model but the disadvantage is that library size becomes bigger compared to NLDM and hence loading the library or processing the library becomes more difficult in CCS. That's all for this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. We will come up with physical view of the library in the next video and your feedback is very important to us. Please do give your comments in the feedback section. Thank you.